yeah. um, lightings for the living room. Mm-hmm. Can share with us. Yeah, lighting is very important mm-hmm. as well. Get the right lighting. Mm-hmm. You know, because at night, uh, if you have table lamps, that will look fabulous. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't want the uh, the bright white lights. As mm-hmm. a lot of people are using right now, mm-hmm. so use more you know ambience lighting mm-hmm. because it's, it's soothing for your eyes as well. You know, mm-hmm. and you feel much more relaxed. Mm-hmm. If you want to look beautiful. Make it yes, dimmer yes, at home, yes. you know, so it hide everything, all the wrinkles. Yes. <laughs> Maybe, um, is it, is it, does it make sense for us to take tips when you enter a hotel and how did they refurbish a hotel room? You know, the uh, the, the lighting, the, the colours, the, the, the combination of colours mm-hmm. between, you know, the sofas and the walls and so on. Yeah, I do that. I mean, when I go out, I always get ideas, you know, uh, clubs, hotels, things like that. Use that, mm-hmm. you know, as an example. Summer hotels, you know, five-star hotel use quite uh, quite uh, expensive furniture, mm-hmm. you know, items. But you, with you know, with a more modest uh, budget, you know, you you use the idea to get whatever you can into your home. Mm-hmm. If you like a certain look of a table lamp, mm-hmm. find similarity, and then do the research on the price tag as well. You know, the mm-hmm. slightly less price or maybe sales. At the end of the year, there are a lot of sales, so get it. You know, so there's no harm done by that, you know. But hotel always use certain colours as well. They use neutral colours, you know. Some of them use quite bling-bling colours as well, depending on the hotel that you go for. Mm -hmm. Some hotels, especially in Europe and I'm sure in Malaysia as well, have a theme. You know, they have a wow factor theme or gothic style. Mm -hmm. They do that a lot, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, why not? Thank you, Nick. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Okay, we're bringing up some visuals on, on the screen right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and our producer says he wants your comments on this. Yeah. So what are we looking at? Well, this is the visuals, uh, the look the of one of the drawings of one of my projects. You know so how, how you display items on the wall as uh-huh. a wall treatment? It doesn't have to be at the center. Mm-hmm. You have a big uh, picture there, mm-hmm. you know, towards uh, you know, the, the end of the room, and you have uh, floating shelves on the other side. Mm-hmm. And then if you remember the sofa we've seen just now, uh, I put uh, two small cushion covers. So, make the cushion covers like a more vibrant colors. You know, I think if you can show uh, a picture with the elevation, then mm-hmm. you can see the, the picture, what I'm talking about, the, uh, mm-hmm. the print, art print, mm-hmm. you know, floral designs and bring the wow factor into mm-hmm. the home, you know. Um, choosing a painting for the living room. Mm-hmm. I think uh, a lot of us will admit that not everyone has a, uh, a knack for you know some people loves abstract but again if you put two mm. two vibrant abstract is painting it'll be the focal point of the room do yes. you want it to be the focal point or do you want it to blend in with the surrounding so yes yeah. you can uh, use uh, two options because again it's a square room you can put edges into each other you know one of uh, you know like a uh, uh, vibrant colors abstract or floral you know if you can see the drawings from here mm-hmm. i use uh, a big floral uh, abstract look, you know, mm-hmm. that's provide the wow factor of the room. Mm-hmm. For okay. example, if you have a tope uh, background for the wall, and that uh, painting and the cushion covers will brighten up the whole room. That at the background or the other side of the room, you use maybe a black and white photos. You can use your own photo, yeah. family photos, mm-hmm. or a, a mirror to reflect it. That's mm-hmm. another way. Um, doesn't using a mirror for the living room makes a uh room looks bigger you know especially if it's a big mirror yes obviously it will looks bigger mm-hmm. however choose the right mirror <laughs> and sometimes if you want to buy a mirror look yourself into the mirror in a full length mirror because some mirrors will make you you look shorter mm-hmm. or wider mm-hmm. so, because some people will say why this mirror looks expensive you uh, know price yeah, like yeah, higher yeah. than the other basically how do you, they produce the, the mirror the chemical, right. the chemical the that they, they the use you know so yeah. that's another way you, you need to check you know you really need to check so be you careful cheap mirror you might be going on an unnecessary diet <laughs> <laughs> It's yes. Wider. <laughs> when all you need to do is to change the mirror. Expensive mirror. Well, one time, you know, I was working in London. I was saying to myself, "There's a full-length mirror," and I said, "Why I look shorter? And why I look, do I look wider?" And then I just look at the price tag, and then I start calling you know, the manufacturer, and then they explain it to me. This is the reason. I said, "Okay, that's a good thing." Okay. <laughs> you know, so some people they don't know. You know, they don't know. They, when they look at themselves in the mirror, lovely mirrors, but still they don't look right. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's the option. You know, that's the reason. Thank you, you know. Nick. It's been a pleasure Thank talking you. to you. Likewise. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, mm. it's the festive season, and I'm sure you don't want your living room to look the same. So, mm. what do you do to spruce up your existing furniture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's another way uh, DIY. 
you know, rearrange your furniture. Mm -hmm. You know, you can move from, uh, you know, the sofa. Uh, if you have a three-seater sofa on the left-hand side, you move it to the right-hand side. And mm -hmm. you have, if you have like, for example, a coffee table and with, um, you know, you display it with a, a table lamp, mm -hmm. you know, just move around, you know, move the table lamp perhaps on the sideboard. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's how to, to make it exciting. You know, when you come inside your home, so you see something yes, different. Yes, 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 People yeah. come into your home, they love it every time you're changing. Mm -hmm. And the other things that you can do also, like accessories. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, oh, we have to buy a lot of expensive accessories, mm -hmm. vases and other things to decorate our home. The cheapest way, I mean, for example, the picture that you can see, you see mm -hmm. the two uh, artwork that I produced there mm -hmm. uh, in between the uh, window, mm -hmm. you know, so you put something like that, make it tall as well. Mm -hmm. So make the room looks higher. Yeah, that's another option. And what I'm saying just now, the quickest way to decorate your home, simple things like this book here. I mean, I got it from you guys. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful jacket design. Mm -hmm. You can use this book as a decorative item. Put it on the coffee table and stagger it with other books or if you have a shelving unit you just put it like this you know and a little vase here so it's simple simple things that uh, you know you can decorate your room and yeah. you create the impression that you finished reading the book yes yeah. you put especially those <laughs> mind-blowing books and you know yeah. the big bang theory books <laughs> i mean there's a lot of nice coffee yes. table books as well you know yeah. with nice fabulous jacket designs display it on a coffee table mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know there's no mm -hmm. harm done um i remember once you were telling us that you know to to instead of buying an expensive vase you can put like a kind of lay card over it and make yeah. it a design yeah okay sorry you're that yeah. right <laughs> you think um uh, I don't know secondhand items or common items to spruce up a house. Maybe it yes. can be more detailed. Like okay, I know one the kain bate or the sari for the you for the vase the box, or yes. even for the mirror. I think it was like a, if you wanna yeah you just decorate it. Uh, yeah yeah some people are born creative. Mm. You know some people they make their own flower. You know from a plastic bags mm -hmm. they create roses and things like born that. Creative. You know mm. <laughs> thank you <laughs> and then do that make your own artificial flowers. Yes a lot of people dislike the idea of having plastic plants mm. or flowers but it works. You know some some of them looks fabulous and if you have that you know creative touch do so and then also if you have um, uh, all suitcases mm -hmm. you know they are beautiful some of them use it as a display the unit the leather ones you know or if you can see somewhere else you know your friends or anywhere else mm -hmm. that they want to throw away that suitcase take it put it in the corner of the room you know and then stagger it with a few other uh, little suitcases look fabulous it works as a storage solution as well mm -hmm. you know it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic I mean you can stagger your books as well mm -hmm. you know like now Christmas is coming you can stagger all the books make it like a pyramid and they put a light inside there. It'll be like a small Christmas tree using a book. Exactly, you know, using a book, you know. Genius thought. <laughs> Thank you, you know. Nick. It's been a pleasure Thank talking you. to you. Likewise.